Hey everybody, wanted to make this video today to let you know that I finally got another major Beatles item for my collection. Happens to be this 2009 mono box set. Uh, these are the CDs, of course. And uh, if you watched one of my last videos where I uh, showed my newly acquired Beatles uh, stereo remaster box set on CD, I mentioned that I wanted to pick up this mono box set as well, and I finally was able to do so. Now, um, I actually ordered this about three weeks ago, but it got, it was in like its own little limbo for a while here, and it was not the fault of the seller, by the way, I got this on eBay, and it was brand new in the shrink, but I got it from the seller, and it was not their fault, they shipped it out perfectly on time, but this got held up uh, in a, a postal warehouse in Michigan, it was sent from Michigan, and as I'm sure a lot of you know, Michigan was hit really, really hard uh, with this whole crazy pandemic thing, and uh, so their postal system was just majorly, majorly backlogged. And so this sat in a warehouse for like two weeks. And I was starting to kind of worry about it in the sense of like if I was ever going to get it or if it was going to get lost in the shuffle or whatever. But it finally arrived today and I'm so happy to finally have this. Uh, and uh, it's just something I've been after for a while. And I don't know, in my other video I talked about um, the how I kind of skipped over in 2009 when these box sets came out. Uh, I, I wasn't into CDs at all. I'm still not really into CDs all that much. Uh, vinyl is definitely my preferred uh, way to listen to the Beatles. But I think as far as being a Beatle collector, uh, I also am attracted to their box sets. So these CDs were just something that over time I wanted to get my hands on. Uh, and I finally was able to pick this up with the stereo box set. So now I have them. And uh, this one, by the way, happens to be a legit uh, copy. There are a lot of counterfeit um, boxes for this monobox set out there. This one's legit and there's a bunch of ways you can you can tell. One of the main ones is actually the color of the apple on this box. Uh, this is a very full uh, rich green. The other ones are kind of like a lighter uh, not as not as sharp uh, image of the apple. Also um, this is centered. This this border box around here is centered. And a lot of the uh, counterfeit ones it's not centered. There's other ways to tell as well if you have a counterfeit. Uh, and that mostly has to do with the way the CDs were actually uh, in the box when you got it. Um, some of them didn't even have like outside these like little plastic sleeves and stuff. Anyway, I won't bore you with any more of that, but this is a definitely a legit box and I'm so happy to have it. I've uh, already listened to um, the Please Please Me CD uh, and the Past Masters, the Mono Masters uh, double CD. I listened to this one as well. I look forward to listening to the rest of this stuff. Uh, and I'll show you what comes in the box. I'm sure there are already videos out there uh, that people have done much more detailed uh, viewings of what's in the box, but I'll just give you kind of a quick one right here. So here's the book, the booklet that comes with it, and it's a nice booklet. Um, it's got a bunch of good photos, as always, and uh, just really, really well put together. So it's nice to have that. And then the first, album is Please Please Me, of course. And of course, the thing that's so cool about this box is just the attention to detail that they put into this. So each of these albums comes in its own plastic sleeve. So I won't open all these, but I'll open up this one just to show you uh, what you get. So you open up the sleeve, and then out comes the album. And it's cool because it has the fold down flaps in the back like all the original UK monos had. And then when you open it up, you get the CD in its own little baggie here. And it has a reproduction of the original UK label of the Parlophone uh, black and gold label. But then you also get a reproduction of an original inner sleeve um, from the EMI Parlophone release. So that's very, very cool. So much detail uh, has gone into this and I really, think that's uh, very, very cool to have. Makes listening to them all that more uh, enjoyable. So, the only thing that's a little bit annoying is putting them back into these baggies. Um, and the baggies have like sticky stuff on the other side, so you don't want to get that sticky stuff on the actual uh, sleeve, but not too hard there. So there's Please Please Me. Then you get uh, With the Beatles, of course. Looking very cool there. A Hard Day's Night, 
arguably probably the best early Beatles album, in my opinion. Um, Beatles for Sale, which I love, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Then, uh, which is cool about this set, you get the Help album, but you get the original UK mono mix, and then you also get the original 1965 stereo mix of the album. And here's Bobby, by the way, to say hello. He's going to do a little stretch. <laughs> okay, Bobby. He says, I got to say hi. He's got he's to say hello. Okay, there he goes. So, anyway, you got to have the Bobby interludes, right? That's just part of these videos. But back to Help. So, with Help and with Rubber Soul, by the way, both of these albums, um, you get the original mono mix, but you also get the original 1965 stereo mix. And this is these are the only places you can get those stereo mixes on CD. So it's very cool to have those on here as well. Um, and if you don't know the story of that, basically what happened was in 1986, 87, when George Martin uh, was set to put the Beatles music on CD for the first time, um, he didn't like the original stereo mixes of Help and uh, Rubber Soul. So he redid it. Um, he did a new mix and did it all digitally. And they used that digital um, master for the 2009 stereo remasters. They used the digital 87, 86 remaster for those CDs. And they don't sound all that great in my opinion. So to have the original 1965 stereo mixes on this mono box set is very, very cool. So there's Help, Rubber Soul, Revolver, which is probably my favorite Beatles album, but I'm not going to commit to that. It just possibly is. By the way, Bobby is currently laying here and looking very, very cute. I don't know if you can see him or not, but it's quite, quite distracting for me, but a good distraction. Sgt. Pepper, the mono mix, which I'm so happy to have on CD, although I, of course, already have the mono mix uh, from the Sgt. Pepper uh, 50th Anniversary Deluxe Edition box set, so th that came with the mono mix, uh, but it's nice to have another one. And I should, at some point, I'll compare the two to see if they're any different. I've heard some stuff online that uh, this one uh, from the mono box set was given a little bit of EQ here and there, um, and then the one from the new 2017 Tarsham Pepper box set, the mono transfer, was not given any treatment whatsoever, just a direct um, transfer from the master tape. I don't know if that's exactly true, but that's what I've heard, so we'll do a little comparison. Uh, Magical Mystery Tour, and by the way, uh, all of the like inserts came with the original albums, like the Tarsham Pepper insert, you know, with like the little badges and stuff, and the original inner sleeve, the psychedelic one made by The Fool, comes with this. Same with Master Mystery Tour, you get the original uh, booklet that's inside here, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then of course, the White Album. And this also has the mini poster and the four individual photos of the Beatles. And it's cool because it's a top loader, just like the original Mono White Album. And last but not least, the Mono Masters double CD. And uh, the cool thing about this is you get some mono mixes that have never been heard before until this um, box set. And they are um, the mono mixes for songs from the Yellow Submarine uh, album. And they were originally in 1968, 69, the Beatles um, were going to release a Yellow Submarine EP of songs that were just from the film. Uh, and so they mixed those songs into mono for a a planned EP, but they actually just ended up scraping that and just putting it out in an album of Yellow Submarine. Uh, and while the Yellow Submarine albums that were put out in the UK, there were mono and stereo versions. The mono version of Yellow Submarine in the UK is just a fold down mix of the stereo mix. So they weren't true mono mixes. These have the true mono mixes of those songs. And those songs are uh, Only a Northern Song, All Together Now, Hey Bulldog, It's All Too Much, and Across the Universe. So those are um, mono mixes that you can only hear on, on this uh, box set. So cool to have those as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a top-notch box set. I'm so happy to have it. Uh, I can't wait to put it on my shelf next to the uh, Beatles stereo uh, remasters. And also I have on that same shelf, I have like the Beatles uh, singles collection, the 45 singles collection. And uh, yeah, so just another uh, addition to my Beatles collection. I'm so happy to have it. And uh, 
of course, though, the records are always going to be my preferred listening format when it comes to the Beatles. Uh, and uh, don't worry, all of you out there, I'm not going to start collecting CDs and start talking about CDs all the time. This is just uh, a little sidetrack for my personal Beatles collecting. So I will have some more, by the way, information about my website, needlebeatsvinyl.com and records that are going to be hitting the site very, very soon. Because of this whole pandemic and everything, I haven't been able to get uh, as many records as I normally do uh, coming in to my, uh, to my place here. Uh, and also because of all the records I actually have ordered, they're just being majorly, majorly delayed. They're being held up all over the place. So things are just kind of, uh, they've kind of hit a little bit of a, a speed bump. They're kind of slowing down a little bit. But I do have some records that are coming in uh, that I'm going to be listening to and listening to the website. And some of them are Beatles records. Some of them are Led Zeppelin records and Rolling Stones records and some jazz records. So a bunch of very uh, cool, cool titles that uh, I'm sure a lot of you would be really excited to see. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, in the comments below, I'd love to know what you think about the mono CD box set. And uh, that's it for now. So uh, hey. Hope you're all healthy and you're uh, having fun and uh, listening to music. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.